I deal with a chronic illness, and so <clears throat> this isn't going to be, you know, I've got a small amount of subscribers. Um, so it's a one-woman show, seriously. I don't have any employees, you know. Uh, I'm barely an employee myself. But, um, you know, part of why what I do with my channel is I like to kind of stick up for the the underdog or the person that's being picked on. I don't know. I just have a thing for that. I hate, I don't like bullying behavior. I don't, I don't like that. Now, and that doesn't mean that when I say I don't like bullying behavior, that doesn't mean that, that I think it's okay to make disparaging comments or remarks about someone, about how they look. I, I, that, I'm not about that. So this isn't about that. Like, just so you know, like I have, you know, read a lot of stuff about, um, this situation and a lot of it I find it to be kind of just mean and rude and that's not what this video is about so if you're expecting that like I I don't think I think you're gonna be disappointed so what am I talking about I am talking about as I think I have in my title um, that I'm no longer supporting Lydia Elise Millen um, Lydia Elise Millen Gordon Lydia Elise Millen Lydia E Millen um, and I, I felt like it was important for me to, to talk about it because I was the biggest fan of Lydia Elise Millen. The biggest fan. Like when she was talking about how she wanted to hire some more people, I was like, I live in Virginia. Is there a way for me to be able to like move to England and, and work? I mean, that's how I felt. Like I just really thought she was fabulous. And for me, and I think for a lot of people who, who still, you know, they still like her, they still follow her, um, and I have no problem with that. But just that she, she uh, I always like to say she was like Vogue magazine. You know, she was like the kind of, you know, where you could just kind of escape for a while and just watch her go to these different events and everything. And, you know, I, I love expensive crap too. Now, I can't afford it. But I love expensive crap. So I never had a problem with her uh, consumption. And even with her house, changing it all the time. You know, if I had that kind of money, honey, I'd be changing it all left, right, and center. Okay? So I had no problem with, with that either. Um, and so I loved her style. I, lo I think that was the thing that uh, appealed to me so much was I loved her style so much. Like, you'll see me having these videos of, you know, like, you know, trying to dress like her and everything. So... Um, yeah, so anyway, I was the biggest fan, really liked her, I liked her quirkiness, like, it was like Vogue magazine with a little bit of quirkiness, you know, like, she was always, like, seemed to be very self-aware and, and would make these kind of self-deprecating comments about herself, and I appreciated that, too, I, I like someone like that, you know, like, who's willing to make fun of themselves, so, so that was it for me, and I, I, I would say, you know, for a good few years, you know, um, uh, but something happened recently, and I want to talk about it, and I want to talk about why I no longer follow her, and I want to start with uh, the incident, right? Because, you know, a lot of times uh, with um, drama channels and stuff like that, sometimes I'm like, okay, just get to the, what it is that, that happened. So let me just start with, sorry about the intro, but I felt like it was important for me to present who I am, what I'm about. But here's the incident that happened. Basically, okay, this isn't like all the little nooks and crannies, but this is basically what happened. 